Can we talk we to you for a... any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or for you. Sindri! Hello! I've returned your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouth. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action. Ah. Whew. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. I've ever been to a filthy tavern. The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Another of Cavassia's poems. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm. Any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever heard one. I'll take him. What can I make for you? No! 
fine. I don't mind you standing around like that. I'll disinfect my tools. Hey. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Bomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means. sensitivity. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours. Named Durlin? <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Durlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. 
Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. <laughs> Knock him down! 
Materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. No, it's still here. What? The island. Bloody Droga Hole! We've got to clear out all the undead bastards! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
behind the door. A prisoner of sorts. <clears throat> How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Think that crane still works? There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Ace here in the first place? That's the heart. I lied to them. I lied. <laughs> if the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? You what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Right side! Incoming! Whoa. An Yggdrasil seed to Muspelheim. I think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago. What makes you say that? I'm still thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. They didn't have fun? <laughs> well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Put my play, brother! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. What you just picked up there is pure Svartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it.
Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. The dwarf survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Huge. Yeah, it should lead us to the key for that watchtower door. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deed with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Can't. Thanks. Right. It's got to be the right spot. Whose battles? I smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. <laughs> Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Einher Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. should help.
Ymir. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> It wasn't so hard. Call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rig. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. looks weak down here, Father. <laughs> that gear. Looks like it was free. <laughs> Maybe that lift can help us get high. Might be easier to break that ground from up there.
Head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. <gasps> Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. What? So that's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll need to free it from its restraints.